Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Quick video today. I made several videos in the past about window mounts for indoor Wi-Fi cameras and I will link them down below if you haven't seen them yet. I will also say this again that this type of setup is the cheapest and the easiest security camera setup that you can do to monitor the outside of your home. Indoor Wi-Fi cameras are usually cheaper and there's no need to screw or drill any holes to install this. So this is the best setup if you're renting or living in an apartment. Wi-Fi cameras that have these window mounts are the Wisecam V3 and the V3 Pros. They're Wisecam OGs, the Eufy C24, which Eufy changed the name again to now C120. And the Blink Minis also have one. I wish more companies will make window mounts for their indoor cameras. In this video, I will answer some common questions from my previous videos like if window mounts will work with screened windows and what the footage will look like. And can you open your window with the window mount installed? And this applies mostly to double hung windows. And also if there are mounts that will make you able to adjust the camera's position. Well, I'll be answering them in today's video, so keep on watching. Indoor Wi-Fi camera on a window mount is the easiest setup because you just stick the mount to your glass window, slide in the camera, and you are done. There is one limitation to this setup though, and that is you really cannot adjust the view of the camera. Some mounts that are made of silicone, you'll get some few degrees of adjustability, side to side or up or down, but you cannot really angle it a lot. Well, I found this mount from Amazon and at this time of filming, this is the only brand selling angled window mounts and only available for the Wisecam V3 or the V3 Pro. This is the Tekel brand and hopefully that's how you pronounce it. And inside the box, you will get the mount itself and this is rigid plastic and not silicone and you'll get two of them. You also get an instruction manual and two extra mounting tapes. Well, let's install this. With this mount, you can install this to have a 20 degree tilt up, 20 degrees tilt down, 20 degrees to the right, or 20 degrees to the left. In this demo setup, I'll install it angled to the right. Just peel off the backing of the mounting tape and stick it to your window, making sure it is level. Push down on the taped edges to secure it in place. I'll show you that this will fit the Wisecam V3 Pro and if you want to keep the stand on, make sure that the arm is on the back side. Then push it in onto the mount and it fits pretty good. And this is what it looks like when it is just installed flat on the window, like on a regular window mount. My shed is on the right edge of the frame and this is what it looks like when it is on the mount and it is angled more to the right and my shed is more centered. To have a cleaner looking install, you can also unscrew the stand from the camera. And when you put it in, the stand is not in the way. With the Wisecam V3 Pro, this is what it looks like. You'll not get any reflection glare even when it is angled. And I do have double paned windows. This is going to be a bit different at night though, so keep on watching. Now how about if you have screened windows? Well, this is what it looks like. It still should work, but you will know that it is behind a screen. How about if you want to open your window, and this is for double hung windows, and even with a thinner Weiss branded window mount for the Weisscam V3, you will not be able to open it, or open it fully anyways, so keep that in mind. One benefit of an angled window mount is if you want it installed on a second floor window looking down, but we have a single story home so I have to go to my buddy's house to test this out. Thank you Jim for letting me film at your home. This is what it looks like without the mount and you are just seeing a lot of the sky. But with this mount, this is what it looks like. Way better. I have mentioned this in my previous videos. If you have this type of setup, you do need to change some settings on the camera for night recording. First, turn off its infrared LEDs or its night vision, because if not, you will get infrared glare, which will make the footage unusable. For the cameras that have spotlights like the V3 Pro, also turn off the spotlights for the same reason and also turn off its status light. I also highly recommend to have some type of lighting outside, either motion activated or dust to dawn. It will help a lot on the video quality even if the camera have a low light sensor. With this Tekel angled window mount at night, with my motion activated lights outside, this is what it looks like. Because I have double paned windows and the camera is in an angle, you will get some light glare on the side where the camera is tilted at. This is even with my blinds closed and lights are off inside the house. Even with that glare though, it is not a deal breaker. Anyways, I'm hoping you find this video helpful and found answers to your questions about camera behind glass window setup. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.